Hi, it's Dr. Kathy Miller from Indiana University. Back with some more important news from ASCO for those of you who treat breast cancer patients. We worry a lot about our patients who have triple negative disease, especially those who have chemotherapy before surgery and still have residual disease. This is a group that we know has a very high risk of recurrence, and we've struggled with whether additional therapy would be helpful. Many of us, myself included, were caught off guard several years ago when we saw the results of the CREATEX trial. This was a Japanese trial well done, which enrolled patients who had had neoadjuvant therapy, either ER positive or triple negative, to capecitabine or not, and showed a significant reduction in distant recurrence, particularly in those patients with triple negative disease. And we all sort of shook our heads and said, really? Capecitabine? Are you sure? There was not a lot of uptake of that. There had been a lot of skepticism about whether this was unique to Asian populations. Would this expand uh, to a European genetic ethnic background population? Could we really do this? Well, we've seen two other studies since then, one most recently at ASCO, that really say, yeah, we can. And we really should because it helps our patients. So the first is another European-led trial that enrolled patients with high-risk triple negative disease. So lymph node positive, they had completed adjuvant therapy, randomizing them to capecitabine for a year or not. Also showed a significant reduction. This year at ASCO, our colleague Ingrid Meyer reported the results of a trial led by ECOG that enrolled triple negative patients neoadjuvant therapy, residual disease, to either capecitabine or a platinum. Now, Ingrid's hypothesis was in the subset of patients with triple negative disease who have basal subtype disease by gene profiling, the platinums would be better. There was a wealth of preclinical data suggesting that that might be the case. So while the trial enrolled all patients with triple negative disease, they got the tumors, they did subtyping with the PAM50 test, and they analyzed the results overall, but then separately in the basal subtype, about 70% of the population, or in the non-basal subtype. Overall, for the entire population, there really was no suggestion that platinums were better. There was no suggestion that they were better or even that they were not inferior in the basal subtype. And in the non-basal subtype, they sure looked worse. The capecitabine really was superior therapy and platinums had more toxicity. Great science put to the test in the clinic, didn't work, our hypothesis was wrong. But perhaps the most important lesson from this trial is that the CREATEX authors were right. Now, Ingrid trial can't tell us the magnitude of the benefit of capecitabine. But unless you think platinums are overtly harmful, not just that they're toxic, but that they're harmful in that they increase the risk of recurrence, there was no way around the fact that we simply have to conclude that capecitabine is helpful and we need to accept this as the standard of care and it ought to be offered to certainly all of those high-risk patients with triple negative disease who have residual disease after neoadjuvant therapy. It also tells us this is a really high-risk group and there is a lot more work to do and a lot more room for improvement. So we will continue to look at other clinical trials of novel approaches in this group. I hope you all had a good weekend at ASCO. I am so looking forward to seeing everybody in person next year. This is Dr. Kathy Miller from Indiana University.